All right, greetings everybody and welcome to another video. Today we are live streaming at the same time and we have just completed our daily foray into the Guild Raid. An event that I still generally like, even though there's a few times where I just question, why, why don't you put the starting positions a little closer to the boss so I can have more fun? But anyway, as always, damage cap increases are essentially king here and any way you can get them the better. So make sure that you have that all prepared before you get in here. But today we're going to take a little bit of a tour through each of the bosses and show off their resistances, their weaknesses, and everything like that. And just talk about the characters and the teams that me personally, I'm going to be focusing on. Because it's my video. I, I can do that if I want. So first off, I'm going to get the Two ones that I think are a little bit more annoying and generally less fun to me. I usually like the bosses that you can just slow down. So we're going to do the CT down bosses first. Starting off with the hover bike uh, from Final Fantasy 13. Of course, all of the 13 bosses are present this time. But let's go in. We're going to do practice. We'll do round one just to show off their like and to prove anybody that if there are any differences between, you know, round one and round 10, in case you're new to this. So first off, let's just take a peek into here real quick. And we're going to just jump over to this bike. Here he is at level one. Here are his stats. You can take a peek here. And his initial resistances. So remember that 20, 15, 10, 15. All right. Now we're done here. Let's get out. We're going to get a nice big old game over because it, technically we lost, I guess. Wait for the new Unity engine to struggle, which was that two gigabyte update that we recently saw. And for everybody, essentially, which, boy, oh boy, some of the comments are just being like, what? Why? Why was there a 10 gigabyte update? My data, my data. To which, yes, the uh, Unity engine, they definitely did upgrade it a, a little bit. So, all right, now let's just jump right over. All right, taking a look at an initial part of this map before we look at the resistances here, you can see that it is generally spread out pretty far and you will have to do a bit of a jog and hike to get there. Long range characters will have a bit of an advantage, but in terms of ice, I mean, ranged and shooting might be just generally good for getting some early DPS in where you get in there. And CT down, important. So make sure that you have a character that is capable of doing that. You really want to be successful. Now, as for the maxed out skills for this, you can take a peek here. Five move or jump. Really wouldn't mind this character just in general in the game. He seems to have good movement. Uh, 699 attack, less good, and pretty good at accuracy. But overall, 86 speed. And as you can see, 20, 15, 10, 15, the resistances do not change at all and immune to all status effects. Long-time players, this isn't any bit, bit of a surprise, but for newer players, just in case. So what you're looking at is essentially avoiding slashing type if you're trying to get as much damage output as possible and going for essentially other damage types, which is a little bit disappointing as a more recent ice player. I've had a lot of fun bringing A2 into a bunch of stuff, but she is at a little bit of a disadvantage, which is too bad. I mean, she would have been perfect for this if it had been a slow type boss. So if you're an ice player like me, who's been focusing more on A2 and slashing, this might not necessarily be your best avenue to success, but it's still a general road to it. But you're going to want to be focusing on these three damage types, and Aliyah and Eliza particularly will have a pretty good way forward with just the shooting type resistance being down. So there you go. That's our first one. Now we will game over one more time. Jump back into the next map. Yes, as noted, I mean, not necessarily no A2, Reagan or Howlett. I mean, you can run those characters, but it is a little bit more of a uphill struggle. And at higher challenges, you may your results may not be quite as good as you want them to be. 
Next up, Dark Shiva is the other character, or the other boss, I should say, that is a CT down style one. My less favorite ones, because you kind of have to do a little bit more management. Not as simple as straightforward as just slowing the boss. Taking a look at the map, here you go. General positions a little bit further on the left hand side. Right hand side feels like it's a little bit closer, but you will have a fair bit of range to go. There is a couple of faster spots that you may want to put your CT down character to make sure that they get in sooner. Now this is of course a fire type or fire type elemental party that you're going to want to bring here. Take a look at stat resistances. Again, basically the same story. Nothing too threatening. Here. Incredibly weak to piercing and mainly piercing. 25% down. Neutral versus slash. Strong versus strike. And as for shooting and magic, a little bit weak. So generally, I feel like most newer fire elemental characters will do generally good here. But obviously they point bulk as the central focus so piercing type damage definitely the one you want but there isn't too much of that in the fire element but there is a couple of sources so whether or not you are prepared for that one there you go but those are our ct down bosses next up we will jump over and check out or is very upset Every night, he goes up on the table back there. Just yelling about something. Something. All right, next up, Bahamut. Now, this is our dark elemental boss, because if there's anything consistent about Bahamut and Wotiv, he's all the things that the game ever needs him to be. So let's take a look next. Oh, could you hear the meow? It's hard to tell what picks up on the mic sometimes. All right. <clears throat> so let's take a look here. This boss definitely feels like a little bit more generous into being generally closer for the light elemental characters. Speaking of which, that's the type of element you're going to want to bring in. And of course, character that will be able to slow this boss is generally important. Taking a look, Bahamut is neutral to slash, uh, weak to piercing, shooting, and magic types. So your Helena, for example, would be one character, but Arts as well as Wingstern would also be generally good. And Reich is his not super good one, which I don't feel is a super problem. But yes, slow is important to bring to here. So there you go. We'll come back out, head over to the next. Only two remaining, and the thing that is dragging this video out a little bit longer is just loading times. All right, my personal favorite one, just because it is the weak to one of my favorite elements in the game. This is the fire elemental boss, and water elemental team is going to be your best friend here. Again, slow down is really, really good, and already I can tell you that one of the best characters to bring will be the new version of Shadow Links. One, it does have just really, really good range on her. Putting her into one of the more optimal spots will allow her to hit slow very, very quickly. But uh, so far, I've had generally pretty good success with this team without optimizing too much because it is the first day. Um, Shadow Links, Farm, Ferris and the new version of old have all been doing pretty good for me so far and I look forward to seeing what if I can do better in the near future but let's take a look at those resistances here as I alluded to just a few seconds ago shooting is the strongest here so any characters that have range probability uh, nah, range abilities sorry will be really good piercing also very good with old and slash with Ferris and farm feels generally pretty nice here, although magic is neutral. The one that you do want to avoid is strike, which does mean that a certain water strike character that I brought is probably not necessarily optimal and maybe could be, well, more than certainly could be switched out for a different character with chaining abilities. But 
he was one of the ones that I initially just remember as having a couple of multi hit which was pretty good if for no other reason than just being good and our last low week boss is this honking guy and this is going to be your lightning elemental team whipping boy for the next couple of days as the event rolls on and let's just take a peek in here his resistances and what will be generally here of course slow very very important this boss does feel way more accessible as he is in the center of the map and you can effectively put characters onto multiple sides of him feels very easy to create a good team where every character can generally get in pretty quickly and attack this guy also he's a big guy so you know not too terribly hard to hit Taking a look at resistances, this one is a little bit more restrictive. Shooting is not particularly that effective, which cancels or at least dissuades you from using characters such as Niv. Also, uh, Bridal Alaya, one of the most popular Thunder characters for a long period of time, is also a little bit dissuaded by going into this fight. This guy is super weak to Thunder already at negative 60%, as well as 75% for slow resistance, which means that you can effectively just hit him with slow and he is done. Lightning is one of the characters I would consider to be the most important to bring to this fight, as she can hit with slow relatively quickly, and since she is fast, she's generally good. Of course, Bang also will be super powered up here since we're looking at negative thunder resistance and negative 30% for pierce resistance too. Also, if you have Vern already upgraded, could be a double benefit for running these three characters, which is almost enough right there to dish out a ton of damage quickly. Last but not least, magical resistance is down of 20%, so if you have some thunder magic characters and good chaining abilities, those would also be generally. But it is still early on JP, and for the last day or so, focusing on character new characters such as Earth Veritas and new content has been a little bit taking away from time for me. So we're gonna have to just wait a little bit longer if you're looking for some videos showing off um runs against these bosses definitely can look into doing that provided i don't forget and i have time for it but anyway that's a tour of the latest guild raid event for jp with the with these elements and these weaknesses hopefully that will give you some time ahead plan your out. thanks so much for watching take care See you later